Hey VC, good afternoon. It is a beautiful Thursday afternoon. Well, not beautiful, it's raining in Trenton, Ontario. Time for a video. This one, I got inspired by watching Robert do his A to Z collection, his whole collection. It's pretty cool. He's got a really good collection and Robert's very knowledgeable, super guy. He has a contest going on to get to 300. Please, if you're not a subscriber to Robert's channel, Robert Hagerman, Robert's on your turntable. Please support him. He's a great guy. So, how did I get inspired by Robert to do this? It was basically the alphabet. I didn't want to do my whole collection. Robert's been there and done that. So I thought, what about if I pick my favorite band from every letter in the alphabet. So we're gonna go through 26 bands here. I just had, you have to pick one. If anybody wants to do a response to this, fine. If you don't, that's fine too. Anyway, we're gonna start off here. So the A, some of these were easy and some of them were really hard to do. Number one. The A's. This was an easy one. The Allman Brothers Band. This is probably my favorite Allman Brothers album too. Uh, live at the Fillmore East. This album put them on the map as far as I'm concerned. In the A's. My favorite A band. Allman Brothers Band. B. This was a really easy one. That's my favorite band of all time. The Beatles. And notice I'm not showing Sgt. Pepper. I just thought I'd switch it up. Revolver's pretty close to being the, my favorite. I would say my second favorite. So there's the Beatles, number two. I had a bit of trouble with the C's. I went through, because I like a lot of C's. Johnny Cash, I mean, is there anybody greater than Johnny Cash? Chicago, those first two albums are freaking fantastic. Country Joe and the Fish, one of my favorite bands from the 60s in the San Francisco scene. You all know that I am just infatuated with the whole 60s era in the San Francisco scene. Ry Cooter, my favorite guitar player. But I went with Cream. Jack Bruce, Ginger Baker, Eric Clapton. Maybe the first super group. Love these guys. This is my favorite Cream album. Israeli Gears. It's actually my favorite album cover. Um, I saw Cream in 1968 at Massey Hall in Toronto. $3.50. Sat in the ninth row. I'll never forget that show. It was really my first rock concert. I went to see the Monkees at Maple Leaf Gardens in 66, but this was my first one where, where was, there was a cool quotient, you know, where you could now brag about it. It's pretty good. Although, I love the monkey, so I, I brag about that one, too. Anyway, Cream. Now we're into D. This was an easy one for me, too. My second favorite artist of all time, Mr. D, Bob Dylan. And this, Blood on the Tracks is my favorite Dylan album, but this is pretty much my second favorite classic, Blood on the Tracks. E. <sighs> okay. I thought about Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. I thought about the Eagles. One time I was a huge Eagles fan, and I still really love the Desperado album. But other than that, I don't play any Eagles albums. So that kind of eliminated them. One artist that I've loved for a long time, great respect for his songwriting, and the albums he puts out, he just seems to get better with age, his writing and everything, is Mr. Steve Earle. This is his debut album, which one of the best debut albums ever. Arguably one of the great country albums of all time. And if you don't like country music, you'll love this freaking album. It rocks real good. Steve Earle, Guitar Town. So Steve Earle, I picked as my favorite E. F. I went back and forth. I started this idea at 5.30 this morning when I got up. It's now 4 o'clock in the afternoon. 
I've gone back and forth six times scratching these names out. The Faces and Fleetwood Mac. The Faces up until five minutes before I started this video were it. And then I went, how can you deny Fleetwood Mac? I mean, every version of the band from the Peter Green years to Buckingham Knicks. I mean, it's just, you know, Bob Welsh, and Danny Kerwin. I mean, there's just been so many great musicians play with this band and Albums like Rumors, I mean, are just amazing. I had to, I had to give the nod to Fleetwood Mac. G, easy one for me. Grateful Dead. This is the original master recording, SACD, MoFi of American Beauty, my favorite Grateful Dead album. Limited edition, number 2147. Out of 5,000, I think. Uh, boy, this sounds good. Whoa. Okay. H. Another fairly easy one. Jimi Hendrix experience. Now, I probably could have gone with George Harrison. I could, John Hartford is one of my heroes, but I just thought, how can you not pick Jimmy? Man. Just got to go with him. I... Not a lot to choose from. Uh, that, another one of my rules was it had to be in my collection. There, maybe there's an I artist that I, I can't think of one, but you know, for any of the alphabets, if there was an artist that I, uh, you would think I'd have something in my collection if I loved them that much anyway. So the eyes, I went with Iron Butterfly, Inagata De Vida, just in case anybody's high, we'll do the, uh, the flashing thing there for you. Whoa, baby. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. Dun, 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 Yeah, Iron Butterfly. You get it. So, that's the eyes. J's were pretty easy for me. Well, I had a couple in consideration. So James Gang gets big consideration for me. Um, Jefferson Airplane and this other band were in a dogfight all day today trying to figure it out. But I went with, Jeff with Jethro Tull. Aqualung, one of my favorite albums of all time. Um, I just love Jethro Tull. Great band. I love the airplane too. Too bad I couldn't have two J's, but that's not part of the rules, and I made up the rules. Jethro Tull. K. Easy one for me. Love these guys. King Crimson. In the Court of the Crimson King. Again, one of the grandfather of rock, prog rock, this album, and one of the greatest albums of all time, and one of the coolest album covers of all time. Robert Fripp is an amazing guitarist. And he just keeps King Crimson rocking right up to 2020. I think they'll be touring next year. If uh, we can get ourselves all settled on this freaking vaccine. King Crimson. K. L. Pretty easy one for me. Led Zeppelin. First Zeppelin album. Okay. Who's after L? M's. Oh, my God. So, this was another one. I went through all the M's that I'm thinking. Mamas and Papas. I love the frickin' Mamas and Papas. I love all their hit songs. John Phillips was a great songwriter. Great arrangements. They had great harmonies. All their songs were hits. They were fantastic. Their albums are good. I mean, just a really frickin' good band from the 60s. So, Mamas and the Papas were my pick. Then... When I went to pick the records and CDs and stuff out, I went, Joni Mitchell. Joni Mitchell's got to be it. I love Joni Mitchell. I got just about her, almost a lot of her catalog. Joni's great. And then, again, 10 minutes before I started, I went, what are you doing? There's only one M that should get picked. Van Morrison. What a career this guy's had. And this is my favorite Van Morrison album, and one of my favorite albums of all time, Astro Weeks. So the M's go to Van. N. I had trouble with N because I don't have many N's. I got a Nazareth album, but I'm not... I mean, 
they're okay. I just never really got into them. And some people are big, big fans. And I'm sure if I listened more, I probably would really appreciate them more. But I haven't spent much time with it, so I can't pick them. There's a bluegrass band or a newgrass band called the Newgrass Revival. I could have picked them. Um, Stevie Nicks. I can't think of any other ends that I have in my collection that would have been worthy. So I had to go with Willie. Willie Nelson. His classic album, Red-Headed Stranger, is here. I'm not necessarily showing my favorite albums. Some of them are favorites, some of them aren't. So I'm just showing a sample of, of records. O's. Tough one. I've got an Oasis CD, but I'm not a huge fan. I just like some of the songs. Um... Old and in the Way was the Jerry Garcia, David Grisman bluegrass thing. Great, but not worthy of being the greatest. Oh, uh, who else? Yeah, there wasn't many O's. So I had to go with one of the great, a childhood prodigy guitarist. I was playing guitar when he was like six, blowing everybody away. Shuggy Otis. You ever listen to this guy play? Freaking incredible guitar player. There is a, you know, the Super Sessions album with Al Cooper and uh, and Mike Bloomfield and Stephen Stills. There's a Super Sessions two. It's Shuggy Otis and Al Cooper. Oh man, it's good. You want to hear some great guitar player? Some great guitar playing. Shuggy Otis is amazing. So he's my O. Oh, then we got the peas. The peas were a dog fight. Two got two giants. It's like Godzilla versus uh, Bambi. That cartoon, remember? And Bambi won, I think. No, Bambi got squished. Yeah, so maybe that's not a good analogy. Um, Pink Floyd and Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. How do you choose? I love them both so much. Two of my favorite bands. I went with Tom Petty. I don't know why. I love Floyd. Love him, love him, love him. But I love Tom Petty too. So I just had to kind of flip a coin. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Q. Q was easy. Going back to my San Francisco days again. Quicksilver Messenger Service. One of the great bands from the 60s. R. R was easy for me. The Stones. Shannon D's favorite band. I know she'll be proud of me for picking the Stones on the R's. And I think this is her favorite Stones album. And mine too. Exile on Main Street. S. Okay. Bruce Springsteen. Santana. Who else? I don't know. That's just that's enough right there. Anybody could pick one of those S's and uh, no one would slap them around. But I went with the second greatest American songwriter of all time, next to Bob Dylan, in my opinion, Mr. Paul Simon. And my favorite Paul Simon album is Graceland. So I'm going to show that one. Simon, Simon slash Simon and Garfunkel. Same thing. Tease. My friend Robert Hagerman is going to be proud of me for this one. Ten years after. I considered Traffic. Tragically Hip, great Canadian band. Uh, who else was in there in the tees? They were, they were the two that I think got some consideration, but Elvin Lee in Ten Years After. Incredible. What a guitar player. You. Not you 2 Don't really... I'm not into you 2 anymore. I lost them. Um... What other U's are there? I can't think of any, but my favorite U band? Even when I was into U2, I would have picked this band. Uriah Heep. I freaking love Uriah Heep. My favorite Uriah Heep song is Salisbury. It's like 17 minutes long. It's on this album, which is entitled Salisbury. If you've never heard that song, man, if you can find a copy of it, check it out. What a wicked freaking song. Okay, that's the U's. The V's. Okay, so I I know Van Halen and Eddie just passed away in that, and I've got a hits CD, a couple of like two volumes or something of their 
stuff, and I, I'm okay with them, and I think Eddie was a great freaking guitar player, but not a big, huge fan of Van Halen as a band. Another guy that I love, one of the greatest singer-songwriters of all time coming out of the States, Towns Van Zant. He was on my list here for the longest time today. And then I decided to go with the amazing, the great Stevie Ray Vaughan. That's my B. I know some people are probably going to Velvet Underground, but I'm not into those guys too much either. I had that album with a banana on the cover. I, I bought it because I'd never paid any attention to it my whole friggin' life. And I bought it just earlier this year and had never heard it. Do you believe it? And I put it on and I tried to pl I played it like five times and I freaking just don't like it. I don't know why. I know it's a classic album. Not dissing them in any way. It's just not for me. But Stevie Ray, great guitar player, is in the V's. We're down to our last three now. X's. There ain't a lot to choose from in the X's. XTC. Or ecstasy. That's another thing I learned from my friend Massey. He called it ecstasy. Because it's X to C. I never freaking thought of that before. That's what it is. So it's XTC. Ecstasy. Something like that. You gotta say it really fast. W's. Oh my God. Okay. So I'm a huge fan of Lucinda Williams. And I considered her. Because I, I just play her music to death. Car Wheels on a Gravel Road is one of the great freaking Roots albums of all time. That alone could get her on somebody's number one list. But... Then The Who. The Who was on my list all day. That was written down at the last minute I picked because my friends and I, who've been hanging out since we were in high school, we've known each other forever, still like brothers, buddies, there's five of us, and we have one artist that is so in con. I mean, we love a lot of the same music, but there's one artist in particular that we all freaking worship. Mr. Joe Walsh. And this album, Barnstorm, I think all five of us would pick this as our favorite Joe Walsh album. So Joe's getting a nod over the who. I know. Slap me. But I love Joe Walsh. Don't like him with the Eagles, though. Joe Walsh. Why? I don't know. Another tough battle here. Yes versus Neil Young. Yes comes in and smashes Neil Young to the ground. And Neil gets up, goes, tonight's the night on the beach. Harvest. Everybody knows this is nowhere. After the gold rush. Uh, uh, oh, Yes is trying to recover with close to the edge. Fragile. Oh, and the S album. But no, Neil says, no. What about my live albums? The great live Rust. And what about all the other stuff? Comes a time. And the stuff I'm putting out now on my archive series. And Neil claims victory. This is one of the more recent Neil releases. Homegrown. This album actually was recorded after Harvest. Never released except for a couple of songs. I think Star of Bethlehem's on here, which was probably on Decade. And uh, Love is a Rose is on here. Um, really, really nice. Kind of a... If you like Harvest, you'll love Homegrown. So, not my favorite Neil album. My favorites are On the Beach and Tonight's the Night. But I just wanted to show this one. Zed. I considered Warren Zevon, who I think is brilliant. The Zombies, Odyssey and Oracle, the hit songs, Tell Her No, She's Not There, great band, great, great band, but Frank, one out. And this is my favorite Zappa album, Hot Rats. Frank Zappa, a genius, a genius. So that's my Z. Anyway, that's the list, A to Z. This video is 20 minutes long. 
I'm going to say peace out. Enjoy yourselves. If anybody wants to do a uh, response to this, that's cool. I'd love to see it. If not, can I give a shout out? Let's go 21 minutes. I want to give a shout out to Lucy in Lo-Fi. Lucy has a relatively new channel. She's a young woman who knows, has got the most eclectic taste. I'm so impressed. She was showing albums the other day by uh, like Julie London and Frank Sinatra and uh, uh, Patty Page. And then, you know, I, we communicated back and forth and she loves Ravi Shankar, which I'm a big fan of Indian music as well, East Indian music. And uh, she just has such an eclectic taste for a young woman. And she's really a nice person and got a cool channel. Please, Lucy in Lo-Fi, please look her up and subscribe to her. I want to remind everybody about Robert Hagerman doing his contest. I have a contest going, and that's another big announcement. I hit 300 today. 300 subscribers. I am so proud to say that I hit that number. I never thought in a million years. From now on, I, I'm not even counting anymore. I Just hitting 300 was like a magic number for me. And maybe when I get to a thousand, I'll be going, oh, wow, okay, I got to push to a thousand, but who knows when that'll be. That could be 10 years from now. I might be dead before I hit a thousand. Um, but 300, thank everyone so much. I have a contest going on that ends October 30th. It's 31st. It's the, the cheesy contest. Just show me a cheesy record. It's just fun. I, I, I'm giving away two cheesy records as a gift. So uh, it's it was just more fun. So um, I want to say hi to Anthony. AGK Vinyl. I want to say hi to Christina, the Vinyl Guru. And um, everybody, peace out. Have a great day.